is the x squared and the x matches the x. What are you going to do with something like b? What's happening in b? Which term in the whole problem, which term is the powerful one? x squared. x squared is getting huge, right? What happens to a fraction when your denominator gets huge? 
it gets small. So your horizontal asymptote is y equals zero. Y equals zero. Any time the power on the bottom, make this, don't memorize this, make it make sense in your brain. Any time the power on the bottom is bigger, the fraction is going to get smaller, and our asymptote will be y equals zero. Um, what about E? Same thing. Y equals zero for E. What about F? Y equals zero. Anytime you have more X's on the bottom, that means it's going to get bigger and bigger and bigger as you let X get bigger and bigger and bigger. Okay? Now, what about the other way around? Look at C. What's happening in C? Now, the power is on the, I mean, the, the domination in the problem is on the top. So I have a fraction where the top is getting really, really big. What's happening to the fraction? It's getting really, really big. This problem does not have a horizontal asymptote. It has what's called a slant asymptote. Now, asymptotes can be any shapes. They don't have to be lines. We're used to lines, so that's what to start with. But you can have a parabola shape as an asymptote. You can have a cubic shape as an asymptote. If the power on the top is just one bigger than the power on the bottom, so x squared over x, x cubed over x squared, you will have a slant asymptote. It will be linear, but it will be slanted. If the power on top were x to the fourth and the power on the bottom were x squared, what do you think that asymptote would look like? A parabola. If the difference is two in their degrees, that's beyond the scope of this class, so we're just going to have slant asymptotes. So when the power on the top is one bigger, you're not going to have a horizontal asymptote. You're going to have some kind of a slanted asymptote. Okay? All right, well, let's, we'll stop there. We'll start example two.